Hey YouTube, it's Miss Antoinette TV, and I am bringing you another video! Um, so this is kind of be just kind of like a random, um, I guess kind of like the products I use in my hair type of thing. I do use quite a few different things. And, and the party and the end. And yes, my baby will be in this video too. Um, but I guess what I wanted to do in this video was just kind of give you an inside look of the products that I use in my hair and the um, heat tools that I use in my hair. Um, I am in a different setting today. I'm not in um, a bathroom or anything like that or in the living room. I am in my sister's room. So that's her TV and her closet is over there. And yeah. Okay, so let's start off with um, this straightener that I have. No one. Sorry, you want some? Okay. Ready? Okay. Sorry, she wants my spray. By the way, Charlotte Russe. Perfume is really, really good. It's my sister's. Let me see how much it was. Actually, I don't know how much it was. I'm going to guess it was like $10 or something. They always have it. It's real small really good. Alright, so first I want to start off with, I guess, the blow dryer that I use sometimes on an occasion. It works really well. <laughs> it's the Revlon. Revlon 1375 Ionic Blow Dryer. And it's pink. It's really cute. Um, what I do to keep uh, my hair from getting so dry um, due to the heat that I use a lot on it um, is you let your hair dry about 50 to 60 percent um, air dry. You just let it air dry. Don't brush your hair when it's wet because that's when it's at its weakest and it can actually break your hair and pull your hair out and you'll have more breakage. So you want to let your hair just air dry. Run your fingers through it. Um, that's a little bit um, less damaging than a brush. Um, so you let it dry about 50 to 70 percent. 50, 60, or 70 percent, depending on what kind of hair you have. If it's really thin, 50 percent is good. If you have medium hair, 60. If you have thick hair, about 70 percent is good. And what you're going to do is you're actually going to use a blow dryer to finish drying the rest. And you can use a brush to kind of guide you through, um, you know, the sections to dry it evenly. Um, but don't don't ever comb your hair when it's wet or anything like that. Or don't dry your hair from when it's so soaking wet to dry because that will keep you way more damp. Um, the curling iron that I use, I use two different kinds of curling irons. I don't have the other curling iron with me, but I will do another video including that curling iron when I do maybe like a curling hair tutorial or something like that. Um, is the uh, Revlon, this one. And it's a, I think it's a one inch barrel. Like that. It's Revlon. It's a really good um, curling iron. I mean, there are better ones, but this one doesn't have that much heat. Um, so it's not going to burn your hair as much, uh, depending on how how long you hold hold it in when you're curling your hair. Um, what I do to kind of keep it from overheating your hair is, instead of clenching it at the tips, I wrap it around. I wrap my hair around it, and that kind of um, helps from burning so much of your hair. And last but not least, I've had this for a long, long time, so don't make fun of me because it is all dirty. I do need to get a new one. Um, but I have the Bio-Ionic Eye Smooth uh, Straightener, and it looks like this. And you can set the little the little uh, heat, and it looks like this. I like this. And it's uh, kind of it dirty and stuff. Dirty. But yeah, I use this. It's a really good straightener. It leaves your hair really silky smooth, um, and it... And it uh, it does the trick pretty well. I mean, I, I haven't used it in a while, but I, I used this one for about two years. Um, and I do have another strainer that I use also. Again, I will put a, put that in the either it down below in the sidebar, or I will do a video um, showing it or straightening my head with it and stuff like that. Um, so that's about what I use. Um, some of the products, I guess, that I use in my hair that I can show you that I have right here on hand. Um, this as a roll brush. Sometimes I use this to flip my bangs up to give them the, this kind of like swooshy look. Um, and then also, if you want to get really good volume in your hair, I suggest using the Big Sexy Hair Root Volume Root Volume Spray. Got this from Ross for ten dollars. Yes, and it comes in like this little squishy um, thing. Yeah, it's not loose. It's not hairspray. It comes out in this like little serum, and you just 
pump it in your in the roof of your head and then you blow dry or you straighten going up and it gives like a added like boost of like just voluminous. It's, it, I love it. It's really good. It doesn't smell that great, but I mean for ten dollars it does do the trick pretty well. Um, let's see what else do I have here that I can show you guys. Oh, yes. I love to crunch my hair, um, and especially like when it's really, really hot outside and I don't I feel like straightening my hair. <laughs> I like to crunch my hair because it's just really easy, really fast. Um, I haven't done it in a while only because I use a lot of hairspray in my hair and it takes a long time to take out the hairspray when I'm taking a shower and it can leave like little white uh, dandruff and stuff like that in my hair. So I try not to do it as much, but I haven't done it in a while and I haven't seen a tutorial about it on YouTube, so I'm thinking about doing a tutorial of how to crunch your hair. And my favorite all-time hairspray that I use, which is really affordable, you can find it anywhere, is Aquanet Hairspray. I don't know if you can see that. Woo. And it's the pink kind. The pink kind smells really good. It's all day, all over hold, and it's number three. Um, just so you can, if you want to get that one. Sorry you can't see it too well. The lighting is not too good with my little crappy webcam that I'm using. But I don't have any other camera right now. So just bear with me. Okay. So yeah, um, I use the Aquanet. Um, and it's, I love it. It smells really good. It holds my hair all day. Like I could literally use it all day, sleep on it, and then it's my hair is still good to go tomorrow or the next day. And I just get up and go. You just touch it up a little bit, spray spray, and then you're good to go. Um, what I like to do is I like to wear it down the first day all crazy crunchy, um, usually with like a little headband or something like this, or I tie like the bangs back and just leave it all po poofy. Or um, either that or you could wear it up in a ponytail and your ponytail is like literally like huge. Like I can't wait to show you. I want to show you right now. Um, but yeah, I'll get to that soon. Just leave a comment down below if you would like to see that kind of tutorial of how to crunch your hair with hairspray. Um, and yes, that hairspray will crunch your hair and it will last, trust me. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I use. I have a few other products that I use, but they're just not here with me right now. Um, but I promise I will do another tutorial showing you the full products that I use in my hair. Not all together all at one time, but just, you know, on a daily basis. Um, I am at my sister's, you know, house and uh, all the products that I use are not here, unfortunately, and I'm really sorry about that. But I just wanted to do a quick video just to let you guys know that I'm still here and I'm still going to be doing videos for you guys. I know I've been slacking, but I am making up with it because I have come up with like three or four videos already and I can't wait to show you them. So, with that being said, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, leave a video response of the products that you use in your hair, products that you've tried, ones that you like, ones that you don't. Anything that you want, just let me know something because I love hearing from you guys. And I just want to say thank you for all the people that have been commenting uh, or leaving me messages. And if you want to see any kind of special tutorial or if you want to see a specific kind of product, let me know down in the comments. And I promise I'll try to get that right away so that I can give you guys a review or whatever you would like. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Bye.